senior lecturer in the Nigerian Institute of Journalism, Jide Johnson, has expressed his concerns regarding the confinement of national honors on Tinubu and his vice president elect Kashim Shetima. In his interview, Jide revealed who started the trend of conferring national honors on president elect in Nigeria. Addressing the topic, Jide said, I think Obasan just started the trend by conferring the honor of conferring the honor on Musa Yaradra. And when he was questioned for doing so for a president elect who had not even started working, Obasan just said it was to serve as motivation to stop to spoil them. However, I think it's better to confirm the honors on Tinubu and Shetima after the presidential tribunal has delivered its justice and every case has been dispensed with by the judiciary. It is the best to call fast search when the final winner has been declared. He added, however, if someone else is declared by the presidential tribunal, this could create controversy uh, regarding who deserves the award. Our leaders have unique ways of doing things in Nigeria based on their perspective. You see, that's why you see that the majority of the people say they don't even the respect of Basanjo because when they go there, they will be like, say, nothing where you go tell them where they go here. Hmm. <laughs> and if somebody say, it be like, say, it be like, say, it be like, say, power, they worry them. It be like, say, it be like, say, it be like, say, now power, they worry them. So they are so drunk with the power. They don't want to listen to anybody. But as soon as they come down from that, uh, the top, they will not begin to talk like Ada Statesman. Ada Statesman. For as many who don't even follow these politicians, maybe as sad, maybe when you were not even ready, because some people are not just like interested in all these politics, following them for uh, current affairs and all of that. Because believe you me, it's a good thing to, to know all of these things. But unfortunately... If you don't get mind, forget it or no follow Nigeria. It's just they will do your own thing. They follow God. Say, God help me. Because if they follow, we where we say they follow all these things, you get the way say they, you know, they do pass for body. It's not even if you don't say, you know, they know the things happening in Nigeria. <laughs> the reality will it will it come and meet you. Just like uh, the era of uh, the Nara Crunch and all of those uh, shenanigans. <laughs> you know they follow what they happen for news now. But at the end of the day, it hits you. It hits you below belts. So that's just the way it is. So what I'm trying to say is that all these people, once they are in power, they know they listen. Huh? Who you be when you want to talk to them? It is my time. I can do it the way I like. But by the time they don't finish their time, they can't they talk. They will, they will now come to the level of the masses. The things that the masses are saying are the things that they will not be. They will be saying, but they will never listen to that. When people make excuse for Buhari that say, oh, because of the people he's surrounded with. People, say, you know they read news. You know they, you know they read paper. You know they know what's in the apple. I beg second base, Joe. So it's just unfortunate that they do anyhow. They do things upside down, things that, and that's why there's no system. Even when they, they, they created that system, ability to be able to follow that system has been a problem. Has been the problem. They want to do things on their own. Sentiment here and there. I was even shocked that a, a passenger was writing uh, this thing. Whether to fulfill the righteousness, but it's, it's, it doesn't speak well. He was writing the UK government that they should they should pardon or they should tender this thing. They should be soft on uh, this thing on the query madus I just like seriously. You think uh, now the way when I do they do when I this thing, I'm just call one or two people. Hey, yeah, you know what you have? Why want you to do like this? Oh, we will do it. Even when people we shout that you are not doing the right thing, they say, forget it, forget them. They just they let them just shout after one week or one month. Ah, yes, they will stop. That is how they do. That is how they do. Tinubu has paid his dues for long in this country. <clears throat> All this why, when they fail to confer him any national award, I knew he would eventually get the highest national award. Congratulations to Ashiwaju. On what ground will the tribunal deliver someone else as the winner on the presidential election? Plurality of votes cast or winning FCT? Well, if they confer them with the honor on Wednesday, you can go and remove this, okay? Uh, bloody by gods. Now your, pe now your person is uh -huh. This way, Omwali, that we have in Yoruba, if we want to follow that line of thought, who will bestow the GCFR 
Ono on Jonathan or Yaradra if Buari had won in court considering how long his battle in court for stolen took to finalize. Are we to say all governors whose INEC declaration are being challenged in court uh, and the Senate elects being challenged should wait till the court case conclusion? Let things deep first. Let's think deep first before we make our submissions. Please, we do not want political crisis in Nigeria. Swear in those declared winners. Nigeria is a big joke for a known drug lord with several criminal records to be conferred with highest honor of the land. In this sense, if a lies climbs, such odds to be put on hold since he has not been conclusively pronounced as the winner of the election. But the way things are being done, he does. It does seem that the justice of the court of appeals and Supreme Court are being challenged to dare to pronounce against the commander in chief. That won't go be katakata. You see those who are supporting them now because they, they are now used to bad things. The same people that call themselves leaders, they have be, they have been able to teach them rubbish, and that is what they know. You know, just like uh, you tell in Nigeria, you tell me that uh, oh, uh, we are going to we are going to. For for the next six months, there will be no blink that there's going to be electricity. You see, how, how, for where? I was telling somebody some days ago that said, you know what? If, like, John, they say two, three hours, four hours, I will be, I will be uncomfortable. You say, ah, hey. Or they can't, you can't get light for one day. Forget, you say, you are in for a big trouble. Because when they go take him, eh, you know, go, you know, go believe him. You just be surprised because you'll be agitated. Let them take this life. Let them take this life. Or oh, they will soon take this life. Okay. That is how it is. That is how bad it is. Because some people already, they don't even know what it means to have good life. When some people who are older begin to tell us what used to, you know, happen in those days. You know, things just go. You go to school. They give you scholarship. They give you bursary. They give you this. They give you hostel. They give you accommodation. As you are going, as you are graduating, you are getting job. You say, nah, that one, that one I talk. Which country that wants to happen? I better talk another thing. Nobody will ever believe, but those who experience it will tell you that it happened. So, but the new generations and they don't know that such thing can really happen. People are even going and rushing. Everybody wants to go to university, knowing fully where they work, no deal. But may I just go face? That is it. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.